Main Gallery is a truly unique art program. It was developed by the City of Racine Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Services Department. The program employs high school aged artists from around the city and teaches them the skills and work ethic to create quality artwork, which is often displayed around the community or auctioned off to continue to fund the program. I spent the day with Jason Mars, Main Gallery Program Director, as we saw what the kids were up to at their workstations around the city. Hi, my name is Jason Mars. I'm the Recreation Supervisor at the Cesar Chavez Community Center. And one of my duties in the summertime is I coordinate the Main Gallery Youth Employment Program. Uh, my role was in 1995. I was a part-time employee at the Park and Recreation Department. Mr. Tyler uh, brought me in and told me he was pretty excited about the whole concept of this program and wanted somebody to, to work with him um, to coordinate the program. Um, so from the conception of the program till now, which is actually 20 years, I've been part of the main gallery program and, and the main supervisor of the program, along with uh, many others that have helped along the way to, to make the program successful. Some of the some of the public pieces of art we did are, we did the, uh, the, the mural, the mosaic mural on uh, the North Beach Oasis. Uh, we did. We helped with the tile mural um, down on Washington Avenue in the uptown area. Sense of pride for a lot of the kids to say they worked on something that kind of helps with beautifying the city. So uh, we're hoping to do some more uh, mural type programs possibly next year um, to continue to keep that public art artwork uh, going. You know, for many of them, it's a first type of job experience. But you know, they're from different schools, different areas of the city. We have a real uh, melting pot of kids from from all over. Um, so they not only build those friendships from the different high schools and then you see them grow as artists and then the ones that really do a good job not only as artists but as being on time at work each day taking initiative working well with others they have opportunity to be in main gallery for up to three years um, and uh, all three of our assistants to the artists are all all former main gallery young artists and our program supervisor Alex Rohner um, was also a, a main gallery young artist at one time. So we see him kind of mature as artist and then sometimes go on to get uh, you know, a bigger job within the program. So be able to have that sense of pride and, and accomplishment of what, they, what they've done and to be able to learn some of those working skills such as you know, what it takes to you know, have a job but also to have, you know, uh, they have fun doing it but there's a lot of hard work involved as, as well. So that sense, sense of community pride is a big thing I think and giving those, uh, you know, through the Park and Recreation Department that we coordinated, you know, we have a lot of programs geared towards sports and different things and this gives the um, young people that may have an interest in the arts or different things uh, an avenue to, uh, to, you know, not only have a paying job but also to you know to learn about art and, and so that's a it's a unique program that way. Hi I'm Toby and I'm one of the instructors for Main Gallery and I'm the multimedia instructor and every year we do something different. This year because of the 20th anniversary we worked with Sherry Lou Martin and she's a chainsaw chick and we did a story poll that is going to be donated to the Root River Education and Environment Center downtown and the kids came up with a story that they then helped Sherry design on the story pole and they also got to carve their own individual animals as well. So we have the story pole that's been developed and painted as well as their small pieces. It's been a very productive year for us. We've also done um, birdhouses that have been painted and have storylines along with them. So I've worked with a great group of kids here at the Tyler Domer Center and it's a real important program to me. This is their, for a lot of them, it's their first job and they have to learn to work with other kids, learn to work with me and other instructors. They have to follow the rules and they get paid doing it, but it is a lot of hard work. Because it's like, if you do something on your own, like usually you keep it stuffed inside your sketchbook or your room, and it's like, you don't really show people that, but like, this is a really good opportunity that like really pushes you out into the open. And people are like, there's like all kinds of people there that you don't know that are seeing things that you've done. I think there's a lot of positive motivation in working with other kids who are involved in the arts and it is something that isn't being taught as much in the schools because it is an elective, 
Um, these kids have a lot of talent. It's just getting them to use it and seeing it go to a, a purpose. And even though they might get sick of their pieces after six weeks and they don't want to look at it anymore, other people really appreciate it, buy it, they, they love it, and the kids see value in it as well.